In this video, I'm going to be recreating the Star Wars Last Jedi title sequence. In After Effects, I have two files that are available for download, as well as a Star Wars font that will also have a download link in the description. I don't own the font or the photos, I'm just going to be linking the sources that I got them from. So start by creating a new composition. I'm going to set it to 1080p, and I'm going to import this stars image that I downloaded from pixels or pexels.com. And to make it match this shot, I'm going to get rid of the bluish tint by going Effect, Color Correction, Tint, and then Effect, Color Correction, Brightness and Contrast. I'm going to bring the brightness down. Okay. The next step is to create the Star Wars logo. So... I, download the, I downloaded this font that I'm going to be using. It's not perfect, but if you want it to be perfect, you could probably find the logo itself on Google Images. Star Wars. I'm going to create two separate layers for each because in the trailer, they kind of move away from each other. And so I'm going to scale these up. And of course, when you create the text, make sure to tint it red. Now to turn this red solid text into just a red outline, I'm going to right click star and click create masks from text. And I'm going to go effect, color correction, tint, map white to black. And that's going to be the inside of this text, the black, um, black inside here. So I'm going to go into the star outline layer, into masks, and I'm going to select all of these layers and change the expansion. I'm going to decrease the expansion a little bit. And one thing to note is that when you create these, this mask layer, it's going to make the layer, the original layer, and um, it's going to turn it off. So you got to click this eye right here to turn it back on after you do that and select all these layers you can just lower the expansion a little bit to create that effect and one specific thing that you have to do for the inside of the A here and the R is find the mask for that inside and take the expansion in the other direction so if it's at negative 9 um, for those you put it to 9 I'm going to change that for this one as well Oops, wrong one so 9 and then that creates that effect and I'm going to duplicate that same process for this um, bottom text as well and I'm going to speed it up real quick so that you don't have to sit through it now I'm adjusting the mask right here because there's a problem with the font that it doesn't completely connect I'm just going to drag this over a little bit. I can't get it perfect, but what I'm actually going to do is create a new solid, make it black, and then just trace out a little box right here and scale this up to just uh, cover that little seam. I'm going to do the same thing right here. Layer new solid. And I'm actually just going to scale it down because that's a lot easier. There we go. So now we're going to pre-compose star and pre-compose wars separately. Make sure you pre-compose the black solids with the text that they go with. So I'm going to drag this down and pre-compose wars. And then pre-compose the top one and call it star. So we don't get confused. One final thing I'm going to do to this text is go into the pre-comps. I'm going to go into star real quick. I'm going to create a new solid tint it red and then layer new solid and tint it a bit darker red. Now I'm going to use the ellipse tool here and create a circular mask on the deep red. I'm going to invert it 
and I'm going to increase the feathering quite a bit lower the expansion as well now I'm going to quickly just pre-compose those two solids and drag them right behind the star layer now set the track mat to alpha mat for star what that's going to do is apply the vignette effect we just created to the text so I'm going to copy control C the vignette that we just created go back to the main composition and then go into the wars pre-composition and paste it in there put it at the bottom and it should already be set to alpha but I'm going to turn this eye off for the wars text to apply it because if this eye is turned on for wars then it won't work now I'm going to go back to the main composition and I'm going to close out of these pre-comps so this text is done now we just need to create the force awakens text and that gets a little bit involved because as you can see here it kind of rotates so we're going to have to create 3d layers and I'm going to create a 3d layer for each letter and I'm just going to speed it up through that so you don't have to sit through it all again but I'm going to show you how to create the first one and then just duplicate the process for each one so text I'm going to type in T set the color to white and I'm going to set this font size to about 60 or um, 72 maybe scale it up a little bit more now I'm going to control C and control V the layer twice to duplicate it drag it over and I'm just going to change it to H and E now I'm going to click this toggle switches slash modes button select all three and then check this um, cube button to make them all 3D layers. Now I'm actually going to pre-compose these because I prefer to have them in a separate composition so that I don't have to have everything else behind it. And also when this is done you can adjust it all freely instead of having to move each individual character around. So in this pre-composition I'm going to line these letters up. And now I'm going to select all three I'm going to go into transform and I'm going to decrease the Y rotation or sorry increase the Y rotation then I'm going to click this clock making sure that I'm set to the very start of the composition click this clock to set a, a keyframe go in about three seconds and then start another keyframe and set the Y rotation to zero so it should look like this and now you can position this pre-composition to fit in between the text here. Now I'm going to speed up the video and type in the rest of the title. Now I'm going to animate the text in the background. So start by clicking on the stars layer and press S to open up scale. I'm going to click on the clock to create a keyframe at the beginning. I'm going to press N around five seconds in to end the composition here. And then I'm going to increase the scale just a little bit so that the stars move. I'm going to drag this out a little bit so it goes a little slower. Okay, now for the Star Wars text. In the trailer, they move away from each other, but it's also moving backwards. So I'm going to press P to open up position. And I'm going to create a keyframe at the beginning. And then I'm going to move it up a little bit at the end, which will create another keyframe if you move it. I'm going to do the exact same thing for wars. So create a keyframe at the beginning, create one at the end and move it down some. Now for the Last Jedi text, since the opacity kind of fades in a little bit, I'm going to change the opacity by typing in T after selecting it, and then clicking the clock, lowering it to about 30%, 35%, and then a couple seconds, like one second in, bring it up to 100 so it looks like this 
Now I'm actually going to pre-compose all three of these layers. The star, the star layer, the wars layer, and the last Jedi layer. And I'm going to press S for scale, put a keyframe at the beginning, and then put another keyframe in because it zooms out. So I'm going to put a keyframe here and then put another keyframe here and increase the scale a bit. And that's essentially done. So I have this letterbox um, layer that I'm going to drag on really quickly. And that's just going to create this letterbox effect that's in the trailer. So that's the final product. If you like this video, please subscribe for more After Effects tutorials in the future. And check out the description for the download links if you want to create this step by step. Thanks for watching.